video i'm going to implement uh, computing sine x uh, using taylor series so we are going to write a c program to implement this so i'm opening a c file opening turbo c plus plus can open turbo c plus plus 3.2 version dot turbo c plus plus you can type the program in the editor or you can open uh, any type of program is there so i already have type of program so you will so we'll open that file So I'll open the file, type it file. So in, I saved the, all the files in Turbo C, BSEQ104 folder. So I'm opening that file. The first line, in, ash include stdio.h. Second line, ash include mat.h. So you should be very careful that uh, brackets and all. Then ash define pi, capital pi is equal to 3.142. Uh, wide main open bracket close bracket open bracket int i comma degree i end degree are declared as int then x is sum is equal to zero term num denominator all are declared as floating point type and sum is initialized to zero printf enter the value in degrees slash and slash and in the beginning and the at the end uh, slash and uh, means actually printf slash and means a new line will come scanf is going to scan the keyboard any key is pressed if you have to enter the value in degrees so we have to enter either 0 degree or 30 degree 50 degree so whatever you enter okay that should be integer and it will be stored in degrees this ampersand you have to be right here so whatever you enter here that will be stored in the degree so here i declared only degree so in the scanning time you have to write where ampersand also x is equal to we need to convert the degree into radians we know that uh, pi is equal to 80 degree or 180 degrees equal to pi radians so you have to multiply with the degrees so degrees into pi divided by 180 will give the equivalent radians for the degrees entered then numerator is equal to x so in the series okay sine series is given by this Tyler series for sin x sin x is equal to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 5 by 5 factorial plus x to the power 7 by minus x to the power 7 by 7 factorial plus x to the power 9 by 9 factorial so you can see the sine conversion first one is plus so next minus next plus next minus next plus so in the sum term you have to every time you have to multiply with the uh, uh in the num uh, number to multiply with uh, every term you see x to multiply with x square okay then it becomes minus x cube so you have to multiply with minus x square so it becomes x cube again multiply with uh, uh, minus x square so minus into minus it becomes a plus again multiply with minus x square it becomes minus x to the power of 7 again multiply with uh, minus x square it becomes plus x to the power of 9 and denominator is uh, very first term is x to the power of 1 by 1 factorial next it is 3 factorial next it is 5 factorial next it is 7 factorial so all the terms are even odd number here x to the power of 1 by 1 factorial x to the power of 3 by 3 factorial x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial x to the power of 7 by 7 x to the power of 9 by 9 x to the power of 11 by 11 factorial like that all will have odd numbers so now again i am going to see file so press alt enter to go back to the full screen mode so numerator is x for the very first time next we have denominator is equal to 1 then i is equal to 2 next to do statement do open bracket and close bracket inside the do loop we have term is equal to numerator by denominator the very first time it is the numerator is x x by 1 okay 
actually it is x to the power of 1 by 1 factorial so it is numerator by denominator so next you have to multiply numerator by a previous numerator value into x into x x square okay so minus because we need alternate terms plus minus plus minus plus minus so next to sum is equal to sum initially sum is equal to 0 we declared at the time of declaration only we declared sum is equal to 0 so sum is equal to sum plus this term value again denominator factor you have to take so denominator is equal to i into i plus 1 here so it is uh, i is equal to i plus 1 next i is equal to i plus 2 so i value have to increment by 2 okay next we have while fab of terms is equal to greater than 0 0.00001 if this condition is true it will execute this else it will come out of this do while loop and after that you have to type the program the sign of percentage d is percentage f this percentage d it will fetch the value of degree is equal to percentage f f is it will display this sum this sum is actually from taylor series this degree is what we entered okay then print f sign f function of percentage d is percentage f this percentage f is now it's actually fetching the value from built-in function sin of x so this is sum is from taylor series sum and this sin x is built-in function so this is uh, end of the line close bracket now we have to compile this program no errors are coming so now run this program so it is showing enter the value of degrees so i am typing for sin 90 then enter it come out of this okay next i'm going to type i want to check the output i click enter button so next to check the output all to w output window o input window o capital o is highlighted with red color so you have to press o in the keyboard so it's showing answer as sign of 90 is 1.000 this is from Taylor series sign function of 90 is 1 from it is built-in function sign of 90 so similarly we'll check for one more value so i'm going to close this window control w close c this c so i will rerun control r r button so I'm going to type uh, another value, for example, 45 degree. Sign 45 is how much? So control window output. So sign 90, sign 45 degree is 0 0.707. That is from Taylor series. Sign function of 45 is 0 0.707 using built-in function. Both are matching. So again, you can close by pressing Control W, close all E. Okay. So you can now to close. Thank you.